Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. I hope everyone is doing well right now. Um, if you hear anything in the background, I'm just going to let you know that it's probably my dog or my one of my cats. So, fair warning. If you hear like any weird scratchy noises, my dog's like laying right outside of my door. Okay, so... This book I found on Amazon, and reason being is because I have a Greyhound. And it's called Greyhounds and Whippets 1, a grayscale coloring book, featuring original artwork by Susan Allison. And so I did a search on Amazon Greyhound coloring books because there really isn't any really good <laughs> Greyhound coloring books out there besides this one. And it's just kind of disappointed me because I know there's probably a few books out there that have one or two greyhound pictures like maybe one and even then you can't really tell if it's even a greyhound so I'm just I was a little disappointed but then I found this one I was like oh my gosh is there really a greyhound centered coloring book and I think there is um and it's by the L the the <laughs> artist Susan Allison and this is actually published by her it's not like a art theft type thing it's like it's legitimate so I am excited about this book and I got it just the other day I'm going to do a flip through of it just because um, I did a search for it on YouTube and I didn't see any flip throughs of it so um, one thing I want to offer on this channel and just show people is kind of obscure coloring books. Coloring books that you don't know existed and just different things and varieties of spice of life type thing. I just think it's interesting when I see a coloring book I've never seen before. And I think some artists could use a lot more recognition like Susan Allison. She has a few more books out there. Um, and this is just, uh, make sure the camera's all nice and centered and stuff. This is the entrance page. And it's got, um, a really cute picture of a greyhound trying to paint a cat. And it's really funny because it's literally just like an ear, an eye, a paw, and a tail. It's like a greyhound and or a whippet um, renditioning a cat but I really love this book actually I haven't tried anything in it yet but it seems like Susan Allison um, really did her her research when she made this book I'm not gonna read all of this but she basically just explains it and she actually tells you the weight of the paper which is um amazing actually because a lot of the times you just have to guess and it doesn't really say on the paper but she says 60 pounds in weight and she says crayons and pencils are your best friend for fab results and honestly i wanted to try markers on this just because i really love markers but um she has her own website, she's on Twitter, um, and she also has a Facebook. This is the contents, and every picture has a, a name, which are actually <laughs> really funny. And this is a really cute picture. I might even color that one. And she just, what I really like about this book is that she goes into depth about how the difference, like what a grayscale is, um, because this is obviously grayscaling, grayscale coloring book. And then she shows the difference between like traditional, what she calls traditional coloring and grayscale. And... I didn't, I really appreciate this because I didn't really know what it was, I didn't know how to color it 
not too long ago and I had to do a lot of research like there wasn't really a video about how to color it grayscale and she really explains it and she explains why some of the pictures are darker in this book and she says she did research like asked a bunch of different colorists what they preferred as far as um, the grayscale value goes from dark to light and I guess darker images is what they said which is pretty interesting but there's just some really cute pictures on here of border collies and corgis from different books that she's done that is so cute this is a super cute book sorry I keep like peeking up at the camera because it's on a tripod and I'm making sure like I have the book centered right and a lot of these pictures are actually landscape mode <laughs> which I think is pretty interesting um, it gives you a bigger area to color and this one's called Down, Dawn of a New Day and I can't really tell which ones are which like which dog is a greyhound and which one's a whippet and they look very similar except whippets um have this look about them where they just generally looked scared um so I think maybe the slightly bigger ones are greyhounds like this one's probably a greyhound And these images are super cute, and they were, as you can tell, they're done in um, watercolor. They are watercolor paintings. He aimed to please. This one's called Sleek, which is a really cool portrait picture. They were soap addicts. <laughs> like I said, these are like super cute. They might look dark and kind of scary and foreboding, but they're actually super cute. And um, the cover actually has all of the artworks in here included in the book, so you can kind of tell like what the colors are supposed to be if you wanted to color it the same, what it's supposed to look like. Which I think is cool that she did that. And there's some more cool things about this book that I'll show you in a minute. And this is called Sleepover. A bunch of whippets in bed. Because if these were greyhounds, they'd be taking up like two or three would be able to take up that entire bed. This one's called It's a Writer's Life, which I think is really funny. Um, this one's called Say As Sweet As You Are, and right here it actually shows you, um, tells you what the... It's kind of like a blurb about the picture and the title at the same time. Or stay as sweet as you are, that's what it's called. It's just super cute. Um, I have a greyhound, so that's why I went on my way to find a greyhound coloring book. But if you love dogs, if you love cute pictures that look watercolory in animals, I totally recommend getting this book. You don't have to have a greyhound to get this book. <laughs> Every morning she took her human or a run. <laughs> this is definitely a greyhound. It's so cute. Oh, that. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, this one's called She Kept Her Lace for Sundays. That one's so pretty. And this one's super adorable. Um, 
he was modest about his achievements. And that is a big hole. And greyhounds love to dig holes. I know that for sure. Because mine does it all the time. <laughs> this one is um, the title picture. Or the introduction picture, I guess. He thought of it... He thought of it as his Picasso face. <laughs> Definitely is. It's so funny though. The poor kitty. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, I love these greyhound slash whippet portraits. This says me and my sister and it's so cute. It's so pretty. Dogs at a tea party. Mortified, Sybil realized her scones were far from fresh. <laughs> Aw, poor doggy. This one's really pretty. Morning run. And greyhounds love to run. But they're actually more couch potatoes than anything. <laughs> and this one is super cute. Whippet of mystery. It's like Lady of Mystery, but with it instead. This one, I actually really want to color this one. Who let the pups out at the neck accessory fashion show? Question mark. <laughs> You're so cute. So cute. I don't know what he's doing. But this greyhound looks kind of worried about it. And greyhounds look stunning with neck accessories. In hiding. This one actually reminds me a lot of my pupper. My doggo. Because the painting for this, um, he's a fawn colored. He's like cream-ish. Like peach colored and he used to have like a darker nose but he, that kind of goes away with age. Pals, oh, that's so cute. The egg and spoon race. Another super cute one. I like how this one's juggling eggs. Um, and this position this greyhound is laying in is actually called roaching. <laughs> And they call it that because greyhounds do it when they're really content and happy and they're like comfortable and laying down. And they kind of stick their front leg up in the air like that and their back one is um, kind of bent. And it looks weird and they also manage to look like a dead roach that was sprayed with like chemicals or something and it's just really hilarious when they do that. And it's funny that the artist made them juggling eggs. This year she is going to do all her shopping online. <laughs> and there's like um, presents in the background. The original party animals. It's like a New Year's Eve picture. She was ready for Talk Like a Pirate Day. It's cute. This whole book is cute. And this is a portrait one. There aren't many portrait ones, but they're pretty. Let's see. It's called uh, Stardust. And this one's actually, you could get really creative with the way this looks. Marker, watercolor, whatever you want. 
<laughs> this one's really funny. It says, does my butt look fat in this? <laughs> Window shopping for whippets and greyhounds. Which is literally just a neck accessory. <laughs> It was the closest she got to cooking. And she's got her wine and a bone. No, oh, here's another portrait. It was always such a boost, a new hat. A pretty dog in the hat. It's actually quite interesting how the artist decided to do a lot of these landscape style long ways and um, just not a lot of coloring books do that so this one's called one step forward and two steps back like <laughs> line dancing greyhounds or whippets Your bed, are you sure? <laughs> so cute. This is also a running joke in the Greyhound slash Whippet community is that they hog beds. I mean, all dogs seem to hog beds, but they're like super couch potatoes. They took their training very seriously. This one's super cute and weird. She took, uh, she loves these cold, crisp mornings. She's got earmuffs. And this one's super pretty. She took her new broom for a test drive. And some of these pictures are actually um, seasonal, which is kind of cool. He enjoyed the wind through his ears. Now we're getting into the winter ones. Go out in this, are you joking? It's like super cold. And guess who's whining in the background? My dog. And my dog's name is Deck, by the way. He kept his racing name. Slave Light. Christmas Tree Whippet Fairy. <laughs> it's super cute. I'm probably gonna wait till next year to color these because I'm really in a springtime mood, but they're super cute still. Okay, so this is a really cool thing about this book, is that the artist explains in the beginning that you can color test pictures um, in the back. Like there's a big chunk of um, doubles of each picture back here. And um, it just allows you to test different mediums and stuff on all the different images so you can feel better about the colors we're using and if you're intimidated by um, all of the different kinds of grayscale and stuff just to see what looks best on what 
And I'm really interested to see how marker will take to these dark pictures. And this paper does, I mean it's regular Amazon paper. It does have a little bit of tooth to it. I can imagine, like Susan said, that it would be really great with some um, crayons or something. But yeah, these are all the color tester pages. And I love it when artists decide to include stuff like that. And I've never seen one where they give you like too many thumbnails of every single picture. Like, I just think that's really awesome and thoughtful of her to do. All the doubles. Um, and this is interesting. It says, try out your colors, and this is just a landscape painting that you could paint if you wanted to. And then um, a blurb about the artist. And these are more things she's done. She's done uh, one, two, three, four, six, eight coloring books, but she also does a bunch of different other kinds of books like writing, illustrating. And other grayscale coloring books. I really would like to get the cat one actually because I love cats. I love an all animals but cats. I just get along really well with cats. And my hound of course. But um, here's just a blank page for whatever you want in the back. So yeah that's the whole book. Um, I recommend you guys treat yourselves to her books. Um, <laughs> I actually meant to say check out, but um, they're super cute. I really love her illustrations. Like, I was going out on kind of a limb as to see if I liked her stuff, and I really do. And I'll probably get the kitty cat one and just try to see what it looks like. And I'll show you um, the finished project product of what these very dark images look like. And I hope they look really good. I'm really hoping that they do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something. Or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, have a good day and thank you for watching. Bye.